Thank you. How many of you here have an iPhone? Okay, I just want to see who I'm preaching to. <laughs> Members of the choir, right? But I have been impressed with the quality and innovation that Apple produces in their iPhones. And I'd like to share some of those innovations with you, or the features, or apps, whatever we're going to call them nowadays. So we're going to look at four items on this iPhone. Not quite like yours. It has a few more apps, probably oh, no. seven pages worth. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to look at Find, or this one's FaceTime. We're going to look at FaceTime, Find Friends, Find Your Phone, and we're going to look at the calendar. First, we'll look at face, FaceTime. And that's a telephone calling feature of the iPhone. Not just a telephone calling, it's a video calling feature of the iPhone. So you've heard, or maybe you've done it, where you've Skyped, where you set up your laptop and set up somewhere else in the world, somebody else's laptop, and you talk face to face. Well, you don't need to do that. With an iPhone, you just click. In fact, let's throw up Amy here. You click FaceTime, and you just hit FaceTime, and it will call, and Amy will accept on her end, and voila, there she is. And it's really cool. You can see me on the upper corner, but we can <coughs> talk face to face. And then, neat thing about these iPhones, I've lost it already. <laughs> the iPhone has two cameras, one on the back, one on the front. So Amy can press this little button right here and just turn the camera around and show me what her cat might be up to. And I can turn my camera around and show her the current snowstorm, because she's out of San Diego and she doesn't. Remember snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Not only can you hook up two iPhones, but if someone has a Mac like you might, you can call an iPhone from your Mac. This is my sister talking to me from her Macintosh. Is it a Macintosh? Or Mac? Mac. Oh, sorry. Mac. Got to do it right. <laughs> so, now. She can also talk to me from her iPhone over in Hawaii. So she's showing me the neighbor's trees, or she's showing me her granddaughter's latest picture. But this is a really good feature when you can just flip the phone around and show off what's going on in your part of the world. And it's very interesting when you do that because people in Hawaii want to see what's happening in Wyoming, and we in Wyoming would love to see what's going on out there. Now the next feature we want to it's, look at that, it's time for Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun feature, it's called Find Friends. And using Find Friends, you sign up with each other so that you can locate where someone else might be using your iPhone or their iPhone. But both of you have to have iPhones. For instance, here's Michelle, Amy, Amy's husband, and my sister, all set up. And it shows us where they are. But for instance, I'll click on Amy here, and I can see exactly where she is. So we can see in this case, she's at home in San Diego. Oh. This is a couple <laughs> weeks ago, okay, not here. <laughs> but what's really cool is we play this little game called, where am I? So she'll send me a text and say, where am I? And so I'll look her up and I'll find that she's at Target. And I can see that it says Target and gives me the address. And I can tell her what part of Target she's in. That's how cool this thing is. And it's, it, it's good to use, let's say, if you were going to a Rockies game and you got separated, or you went to Disney World and you're all over the place, but you want to find each other. Using these devices, you can just walk back to where everyone else is. Really nice feature. Third feature, oh, I, since Michelle's here, this is where Michelle lives, out in Seattle. So we're able to see where she is. You know, you kind of scared me the other day when you said you were walking downtown in Seattle. I'm watching her. I'm watching her walk down the street. I'm thinking, you okay now? You okay? <laughs> but the next feature I want to talk about is the Find Phone. I am forever, and I'm, Barbara will attest to it, I am forever forgetting this phone. I leave it on the counter. I leave it under the keyboard. I leave it everywhere. I leave it in my car. Where, <laughs> and I do mean everywhere. But using 
this application, I can find my phone using my computer or using uh, another device like an iTouch. Or using my iTouch, I can find my iPhone. Or using my computer, I can find both of them. I'm going to get too many things in my hand here. <laughs> For instance, here I found my iPhone. It shows not just my house, but it shows what part of my house my phone's located. Now, if I still can't find the phone, for instance, it's under the keyboard or under the pillow, I can play a sound to it. And, by playing, and it'll play a sound even if the sound is turned off. It'll still, if I have it set on vibrate, it still plays a sound. So I can override that using this gizmo, this application. Now, if it really, if it, this got into somebody else's hands and I did lose it, and I'm worried that I'm going to lose my Starbucks coffee pass. I can lock down my phone, or I can take and wipe it clean if I need to. Neat. <laughs> I use it. <laughs> I tell you, I use it. Okay. Next one I want to talk about is the calendar. And with the calendar, you might say, I, I, I use Outlook. I've already got a calendar on my desk, so I, I don't need that. But with this calendar, I can go into a doctor's office put my appointment right here, and when I sync my computer to my phone, then it syncs with my Outlook, and then Outlook is on here, and this is on Outlook. They're one and the same now, so it's so easy to, to do both. And I'll, that's all four, but one quick thing I want to point out is now, and I beat you kids to it, is the iCloud. Now the iCloud is where you can take if I take a picture with this phone, automatically it'll be transferred over to my iTouch. And if I take a picture with my iTouch, it comes, or I don't take a picture with that, but if I send a file, an email from here to there, automatically it saves it. Now I'm not trying to convince you to get iPhones. But Christmas is coming. What are you waiting for? <laughs> 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 